My name is Glenn Migo, Assistant Pastor of Grace Covenant Church, Cedras. And our pastor is Brother Dalton Bruce from the Great House. And you know, I want to welcome all. It's not a nice time to welcome, but in this little service here, I believe it will be a privilege yes. to hear what I have to hear to Amen. say concerning my precious brother Joyong. You know, and as he went on to be with the Lord, I believe that there is rejoicing in the hearts of Amen. those who know where he is. Yes. 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 And there is sadness in the heart of those who don't know where he is. Wonderful, yes. brother. So we rejoice with those that we rejoice. Yes, sir. And we weep with those that weep. Yes. yes, we feel sorry because of not having the knowledge of where our precious brother is today. But I want to say that he is in a better place Amen. this Amen. evening. Amen. And if you ask him to come back here, mm. he would not want to be here. Yeah. He would not want to be here at all. Amen. And you could offer him this whole world. Mm. And he would not Lord. want to be here. Yes, I tell you, that mm. is the promise that he holds in his heart. Yes. And that is what he wanted. Yes. And that is to serve God, obey his word, and live for him. And receive the promise of God that God has for him. Yes. yes. So I believe it's a, you know, it's a great privilege, you know, and an honor to perform the rites of our precious brother, the last rites of our precious brother, Joseph Rampol. Mm -hmm. We all, everyone knows him as Brother Joe Young. Yeah. 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 Even the whole village, yes. anywhere you go and you ask, you ask for Joseph Rampol, they would not know. Ask for Joe Young. Yes. 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 And everybody knows. Yes. Yeah, and around the world. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> around the world. Yes. So, first, you know, I want to extend you know, on behalf of Brother Bruce, our precious pastor and shepherd, yes, sir. that is over us, and his Brother Jo Young, pastor, which he loved very much. Amen. Yes. Amen. You know, Brother Bruce and family send their fondest regards to Brother Jo Young's wife, Sister Rosemary, and, uh, and other relatives. Yes. And also the church expressed their fondest sympathy to them. Yeah. Yes. Brother Joyong was loved by many. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. yes, and anybody that to know Brother Joyong, they will have a likeness for him. Yeah. Because he was a man of love. Yeah. In spite of his nature, yeah. in spite of his boldness, in yeah. spite of his, you know, his rough. You know, and rugged way. Yeah. 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 There was something in Brother Joe Young that touched people's hearts. Yeah. 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 And that he had a heart that was soft. Yeah. Yeah. A heart with love. Yeah. A heart with appreciation. Yes. A heart with sharing. And I tell you, he loved to share. Yeah. Yeah. And when he's sharing, and he starts sharing the gospel, you yes. could be black, white, or green, blue. Yes. He shared that gospel and it come out hard. Yes. 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 Many it's times, true. you know, we have to say, Brother Joe, hold it, hold yes. it. Yeah. You know, quiet it down. <laughs> because he was desperate yes. and he wanted what he knew, he wanted people to know. Yes. yes. Because yes. he had a hope. You know, and that hope is eternal life. Yes. And that is what he wanted to share with everybody. You know, and we had to calm him down sometime because you know, he go a little, you know, stray a little too much, <laughs> you know, and he might say things very harsh, yeah. but all he means is that he wants you to understand yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. the true. seriousness yeah. of the gospel yeah. and eternal life. Yes, I want to say that Brother Joe Young, you know, God's servant, Brother Bruce, family, Brother Joe Young had loved that family. Very yes, very yes. much. Yes. That is Brother Bruce. And also, you know, I want to extend, you know, sympathy to the family on behalf of Brother Micah Bruce yeah. and Brother Bobbly, 
who Brother Joe Young loves so much yeah, 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 and brother. cherish as a son. Yes. Yeah. You know, he and Bobby was partners. Yeah. <laughs> and also Brother Daniel Bruce yeah. wanna yeah. send his yeah. love, condolences, sympathy to the family. And also Samuel Bruce. Yes. Yeah. All of them grow from babies yeah. right in Brother Joe Young's hand. Yeah. Yeah. And they become young men and they are loved by Brother Joe Young, and they love Brother Joe Young yes, just as much as he loved them. Yes. And also, you know, Brother Bruce's daughters and granddaughters, yes. you know, they are loved by Brother Joe Young, and also Brother Joe Young loved them. Yes. Yes. Sir. yes. I had to say that yes. because I know, you know, how they feel about Brother Joe Young. Yes, and also the believers in the Church of God love Brother Joe. Right. Yeah. Amen. Yes, and his dear wife very yes. much. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. No one could say different. Mm -hmm. And Brother Joe Young, you know, he was, you know, he was a great man, great man. a great son yes. of God. Yes. 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 In spite, you know, of his way and his seriousness, he mm. was a wonderful yeah. brother. Yeah, right. true. A loving, a sharing. There, I can you know tell of anybody that Brother Joe Young never shared. With. Mm -hmm. Yes, he had a heart of sharing. Yes, yes. And even the word he shared. It. Mm -hmm. yes. But I tell you, it was hard. <laughs> yes. Yeah. He was a preacher. He would be sitting under a real heavy <laughs> preacher. Okay, yes. Yeah. Yes. Amen. But thank God for him. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I just you know. You know, just want to say a little bit. You know, Brother Joe Young, he was born on the 23rd of June, 1949. And he went on to be with the Lord on the 5th of January, 2022. Yes. So, Brother Joe Young, He is the son of late Albert, and I cannot pronounce his name, K-I-R-K-U-T. Cook. All right. I remember, as they say, Cookot. I remember, not Cookot, but Cockot. <laughs> that is what I remember her yeah, as yeah. a little boy growing up close to Brother Joe Young. Yeah. because she could have foreign plenty. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I remember her that, you know, as a little boy there. Yeah. Yes, and um, he's the husband of our dear sister Rosemary Rampol mm -hmm. and father of Angel, Nigel, and Jason, mm -hmm. and grandfather of Zion and Kaya. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know, and we truly love these two grandchildren of yes. Brother Joe Young. Mm -hmm. And I know ah. Kaya from a baby, you know, and truly. I truly grew to love Kaya, yes, yes. knowing her from a baby, mm -hmm. yes. So Brother Joe Young had, you know, other brothers and sisters, and one of them is alive, and that is Monica, and the others went on. So I want to go into my scripture reading one time, because of the time, and my scripture reading is taken from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 1 to 10, and I will read. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle was dissolved, we have a building of God, and house not made with hands eternal in the heavens. For in this we groan earnestly desiring to be clothed upon with our house, which is from heaven. If so be that, being clothed, we shall not be found naked. For we that are in this tabernacle do groan, being burdened, not for that we would be unclothed, but clothed upon, that mortality might be swallowed up of life. Now, he that wrought us for the selfsame thing is God, who also had given unto us the earnest of the Spirit, 
Therefore, we are always confident knowing that while we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. Mm. For, we walk, for we walk by faith, not by sight. We are confident, and I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Oh, yes. Wherefore, we labor that whether present or absent, we may be accepted of him. Amen. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. For, we, for we must all appear, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he had done, whether it be good or, or bad. Amen. 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 So may the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word. Amen. So, you know, there, when, you know, I want to say, I want to go on a little subject. What is after death? Mm. You know, and that is a question that when, you know, death, death stepped in, you know, that question, you know, is asked, you know, almost everybody has. What is after death? People that don't know. And they will want to know, is there peace? What is beyond this life? Is there peace? Is there torment? Where did my mother go? Where did my father go? Where did my son, my daughter, my friend, my husband, my wife, my grandpa, and my loved ones. And you know, in this time, there are so many deaths mm -hmm. that have no respect of persons. Mm -hmm. right. They're right. taken from the baby to yeah. the oldest. Yes, yes, sir. And this, you know, it comes so sudden that people don't expect nah. these things happening mm -hmm. in this day and this hour that we are living in. And suddenly, we miss a strong person that would, you would think would live a hundred years. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. A child that doesn't have any problem a young person, a teenager, you know, in their youth. And then something happened because of a plague that is upon you today. And their loved one just gone on. And it caused a lot of grief, a lot of heartache, you know, in these people's heart, because they don't know if they will ever meet their loved one anymore. If they will ever, you know, see them. But our precious brother Joe Young, he know that if his wife depart, if our brother, his brother or sister depart, we will meet again. Yes. 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 Because he has a hope, yes. and that hope is eternal life. Yes. And he rests all his soul, his life, and everything, you know, upon that hope. Because he believed that when we meet across there, you know, we will meet across on the other side. Yes. 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 That's right. And I want to say not everybody have that hope. It is hard to know that not everybody have that hope. Yes, not everybody. Yes. You know, and that is what people are thinking when people depart. Are they in sorrow? Yeah. Are they happy where they are? Are they in pain? Will they come back to me or will I go and meet them in the land of peace or torment? That is a question. Yes, the whole will ask that question every day. Yes. Every day. And the answer to the question has been a quest, a longing and a desire of all mankind throughout all ages and generations. The basis of all religion is the effort to answer what is beyond the grave. That is what all religion and man-made religion, yeah. yeah, all the founders of religion, that is their quest. What is beyond the grave? Yeah. And the thing is, none of them ever came back hmm. none of them. and tell their followers what is beyond the grave. Mm -hmm. But I want to tell you, there was one man yes, that sir. went, and yes. his name is Jesus Christ. Yes. And he came back. And he told us what is beyond the grave. Yes, sir. All right. Yes. All right. 
Yes. And all these, you know, <clears throat> leaders, religious leaders, and founders of religions, all of them are different. They differ in, in opinions. Yeah. Yes. In conception and doctrine. Yeah. Every one of them have different. Different, yes. Doctrine. Yeah. Yes. But our God, our Lord Jesus Christ, He went. He died. Yeah. And He went. And He came back. And He tell us what is beyond the grave. Yes. 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 And we believe. Amen. That's right. Yes. We believe. So we thank God that we know that our Lord Jesus Christ, you know, He gave us a hope. And He let us know that, hey, when you die, you ain't finished. Mm -hmm. You know that is a, a doctrine that people have to? Yeah. When you die, you finish. Yeah. When you die, you ain't yeah. finished. Mm -hmm. Yes. There are two places that a soul could go. Yes, brother. One of the two places that a soul could go. Mm -hmm. yeah. And one is either you go to hell, the region of the lost, or you go to heaven. Right. Amen. Amen. And a man has to make up, you know, his mind here, what he wants. If you want to go to hell, or if you want to go to heaven. Mm -hmm. yes. And there's only one way, and that is, if you want eternal life, you have to come the way of Jesus Christ. Yes. Mm -hmm. There is no other way. No other way. No other. Yes. Because no other founders ever come back and tell us the way. Mm -hmm. But our Lord Jesus Christ, He came back yes. and He tell us the way. Yes. And He said, if you follow me, I am the way, the truth and the life. Yes. Uh, no one come unto me. Yeah. Everyone, you know, have to follow the way, the truth and the life. Mm -hmm. And if you come unto Him, you will have life. Yes. So if you reject Him, you will suffer. Yes. yes. And you won't only suffer, but there is a place called hell. If you doesn't believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, you know, there is a place called hell. Mm -hmm. It shows that you believe in something else. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that is, you have a choice. You either choose the way of life or you choose the way of death. There's only two ways. Yes, only two ways. There's no in between. No. So that itself shows you that there is no way that there is anybody you know that, you know there's something they call purgatory, there is no purgatory. Nobody could pay for your, for you to come out of purgatory. No and the thing is, is that everybody, you know, they try to heap up the wealth of the world. Yeah. You know, they want to have, they want to have everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when they die, they have nothing. nothing. Mm -hmm. But you know who will have that wealth? Especially in certain churches that preach purgatory, the mm -hmm. priests. Mm -hmm. Because he will make sure that he tell you that this purgatory you have to pay yeah. to get that soul out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you will have to pay every cent that you heap up. Yes. And even more yes. mm -hmm. to get that soul out of purgatory. Correct, mm -hmm. But that is not so. Not so. It is appointed, one, appointed once for man. Yeah. There is appointment for, for death only once. And when you die, judgment. Yes. Yeah. There's a point on the man wants to die and after death, the judgment. Yes, sir. Yes. Amen. <clears throat> yes. So, Brother Joyong, what we see here is that, Brother Joyong, what you, what you see in this, this box here, this coffin here, is just the shell of Brother Joyong. That is where Brother Joyong used to dwell. And, it, and, and in the scripture here that I just read, it said, For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle be dissolved, we have a building of God and house not made in hand, eternal in heaven. Yeah. And Brother Joe Young rested upon that promise of God. Yes, yes. yes. yes brother. Of that eternal body that God have, an eternal house. Yeah. That when Brother Joe Young from the time he, he take his last breath, yeah. In a split second, he was in that house. Oh my God! Well, uh, yes. In a split, split second, second yes. he moved into that house. Yes. And in that house that he is living in right now, there is no pain, no, no pain. suffering. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
And I remember his granddaughter used to trouble him about this no teeth. <laughs> no teeth, Baba. Yeah. And right now, he has all his teeth. All no. his teeth, yes. Yes, everyone. And he's as young as when he now gets married, about 22 years of age. Right? That is how. And every person that, get, that goes into that place, yes, go to heaven, they will be at that age. Yes. There is no old people there and there are no babies there. Yes. That's right. Everyone will be the way that God made Adam when he created Adam around that age. Yes. So we know where Brother Jo Young, he lived this life, you know, and look, looking for that promise that when he died, he will enter into that new body. And when this earthly tabernacle be dissolved, God have one waiting for you in heaven. Yes. 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 We believe that. Yes. That's right. Yes. We believe that. That is the scripture. That is the Bible. Yes. 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 Right. Amen. So the only way for you to go there on the other side is to believe like our precious brother Jr. Mm -hmm. He believed that his sins are forgiven him. Yes. And you could have your sins forgiven the very same way mm -hmm. as Brother Joya. No matter who you are, how big you are, or how small you are, all you have to do is accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior and God. Yes. You know, and believe. And you know what will happen? When you believe in His name, you get baptized. And all your sins are forgiven. Mm -hmm. And even though, you know, somebody will come and say, Well, I know you do, do that. You know, you was a fornicator. You was a homosexual. You was a lesbian. You was this, you was that. You was a thief. You was a murderer. When they come up with that, you are forgiven of all those right. sins. Oh, yes. It is wiped away. Yeah. Clean. Your slate is clean because you are forgiven. And it is and you don't remember them anymore. That is how great our God is. Oh, yeah. Throw your sins in the sea of forgetfulness and you will remember them no more. Right. So the devil can come and accuse you of what sin? You have no sin. Because your sins are washed away by the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. Amen. Yes. This is what Brother Joe Young believed. Yes. For 29 years, yes. he was a member of our church. Yes. Grace Covenant Church Cedrus. Mm -hmm. And he believed that. Mm -hmm. Yes. He stand firm with his gospel. He believe, you know, his pastor, and he support this ministry. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. With all his heart. Yeah. I tell you, he stand for this word, and he will lay the axe to the root of the tree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. You come up against his pastor. You come mm. up against his ministry. I lay the axe to the root of, of the tree. Yeah. Yes. He cut down every tree that stands in his way. He was a bold man. Yeah. Yes. yes, a man that will stand without any shame. Yeah. Yes, and many times, you know, you know, people, you know, say, why the church minding you? He said, yes, he is not ashamed. My pastor does mind me. <laughs> that is how he talks. Yeah. Yes, so That's what it is, my pastor does mind who minding you? Oh. What is your pastor doing for you? My. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Pastor pulling the money, the bonded pulling the you. money. Everybody pulling the money, pulling their pocket with money. Yeah, yeah. Not pulling the money, yeah, but money, they're pulling the pocket with the money. Yeah, yeah. But our pastor don't do that. No, no. Brother Joe Young, speak the right, speak the right things. Yes. So, I don't have much time. Yes. So I want to say there was a rich man, and there was a beggar. Oh yeah. Name Lazarus. Yes. A rich man and a beggar. <clears throat> that story of the rich man and, and a beggar called Lazarus. The rich man, he enjoyed life upon the earth. But when he died, he opened his eyes in hell and was in torment. And Lazarus, he died. But the angel of God carried his soul into the region of righteous of the righteous which is called paradise yes this beggar used to used to be there by that rich man gate 
you know, desiring to get the crumbs that fall from that man, that rich man table. He wanted a little crumbs to eat. He was a beggar. He had sores. Dog used to come and lick his sores. And how many times, you know, that rich man, maybe, tell the servants to get this man out from my gate. Mm, get him yeah. away from my gate. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Why? He is there all the time. Longing and desiring to have the crumbs. Maybe he never get the crumbs. Yes. But one thing he trusts in God. Yes. And he believed God right. as a beggar yeah. in rags. Yes. But this rich man had everything. Yes. He didn't have to, to beg for nothing. Not one day. But he, when, la when he died, the rich man, you know, he died. And when he died, he opened his eyes in a place of torment, mm. which is hell. Yeah. But when Lazarus died, the angel came and carried him, lead him, because he didn't know the way, to a place called heaven, paradise. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But I want to say, and that beggar, you know, that rich man, in that torment, he asked, he said, Father Abraham, could you send Lazarus? Mm. Let him dip his finger in some water and just touch my tongue. Because he's thirsty. Mm -hmm. Yes, there's no water there. No, no water there. Yes, he's suffering. No water to quench his thirst. Yes, and many people in that place, there's different type of torments. Right? So, he begged for that drip of that, that for, for Lazarus to just touch his finger in, a, in some water and touch it on his tongue. But he couldn't do it. No. What happened is that the rich man, he never accepted the pardoning grace of God while he was on earth. Yes. Mm -hmm. What Lazarus did. Yes. yes. He did. Amen. Yes. yes. So this little story here prove that there are two, two different places. One is hell and one is heaven. Yes. Lazarus was in heaven and the rich man was in hell. Yes. And up to this very moment that I am standing here, he still have that desire for that drip of water yes, on his well, lip, true. on yes. his tongue to up quench to his no, tongue yeah. and never get it. Yeah. Hmm. Up to this day. How many years now? That happened over 2,000 years in that place, longing for that water, in torment, yeah? And, the, and, the, and, and, and Lazarus, he is enjoying life, yes, eternal life. Yeah. Yes, yeah. He, is, yes, he is in a, in a new body. Yes. yes, this tabernacle, if this earthly tabernacle will dissolve, melt away, he have one in, in heaven waiting on him. Yes. And when he died, he entered into it one yes. time. One time. Yeah. And brothers and sisters, friends, whosoever you are, you can receive that this evening. Amen. If you make that choice, like our precious brother Joyong, that is why we are not sad. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. Yes. But we, we, we know where our brother is. Yes, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. His soul is in the hands of God. Yes. He is in a place where he is enjoying everything now. Yeah. Yeah. He is young, without pain, without suffering, not a headache. Yes, not, you know, nothing to complain about, yeah. but joy, peace, and happiness. Yes, Amen. yes, that is the place that we have to be when Amen. we depart from this life. And for you, to, for you to be there, you have to make, you know, choose life here upon the earth to gain life across there. Yeah. All right. Oh my. There were so, so many things I want to say, yeah, you know, but the time, mm -hmm. you know, we just run out. Yes. So what happened is that our brother Joyo, he come like you have on a coat. Yes. And you get a new coat. Yes, sir. You take that coat, Amen. And put it in the um, in the cupboard, yeah. and you hang it up there. You're not wearing that anymore because you get a new one. Yes. So what goes on with brother Joyo there? He just change coat. Yes. Yes. You get a new one in heaven. He don't want that one anymore. So. Right now, he's in a new body. Yes, so Yes. Well said, yeah. A new body that God prepared. And he said, he go to prepare a place for us. Yes. And this is where our brother Joyo is right to be. 
Oh my, in paradise. Yes, sir. In heaven. Everyone have that choice to make. Doesn't matter what life you live here. You could repent and make your life right with the Lord. Yes. yes. But if you play hard and you don't want to do it, you will regret all the days of your, all life. The days of your life. When you have to face that white throne judgment, after death there is a judgment. True. Yes, that yes. you will have to face. Yes, sir. And if you want, if you don't, if you don't want to face it, you better choose life. Choose the way that Brother Jo Young choose. Yeah, right. Yes, he is the truth and the life. Yes, that is God, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I thank God, you know, that our precious brother Joya, his soul is resting in peace Amen. right now. Yes, yes. many, many people, you know, preach and say, in the many services, funeral service, you ever hear, they tell, they say anybody that goes to hell, no, everybody is resting in peace. Yes. But that is not so. No, that's so. That, that is not, not so. so. Murder a criminal. Yeah. All, all, all kind of thief, yeah, drunkards, yeah, yeah. lesbian, homosexual, yeah. yeah, fornicators, adulterers, all these people, yeah, they're resting in peace. Resting in peace. Yeah. God and, swing, and, and sin cannot dwell together. Yeah, right. You either you love life, eternal life, or you either love death. If you love the things of this world, if you love this world and the things of this world, the love of the Father is not in you. Not in you. But if you love the Lord Jesus Christ and you give your life to Him, then you'll have eternal life. And you will bypass all these sufferings that a man will suffer when he dies. So, I want to say that we give God thanks and praise for our precious brother Joe Young life and the, live, the life that he lived here upon the earth. And it's like an example to many. And I want to say, you know, to his grandchildren, that Papa is not dead, but uh, is alive. Yes, sir. This is just yes, the house yes, that he used to live in. Yes. But the real Papa, that you call Papa, is in another body. Yes. And you can meet him. If you only surrender your life yes. to the Lord Jesus Christ, yes. you will meet him yes. on on that day, yes. there is a day coming that mm. everyone will be gathered in heaven. Yes, there are some that would not be gathered in heaven. Mm. There is some, they say, broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and narrow is the way that leadeth to life, mm. and few that be that kind of. Right now, that broad way, everybody is rushing. Yes. They jump back yes. and they're pushing to go that way mm -hmm. into hell. Right. And mm -hmm. few there be that few. goes to heaven. Choose the way of eternal life. Make your life right. Give your life to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yes. Accept Him as your Lord and Savior, and all will be well. Shall we all stand? Yes. Bow our heads. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks and praise Thank you, for this day, Lord, yes. and for this little service, Father. Lord, of, you know, our brother Juyong, in yes. remembrance of our brother Juyong. Yes. Father, we cannot do anything for him now, Lord, because he already made his life right with you, yes. oh God. And we thank you, Father, that he has gone into his eternal body. Yes. Father, that you have prepared for him. Lord, it is us now who are here, Father. Oh. Lord, to choose that way, Lord, and make our lives right with you, Father. Lord, for we don't know what day, O oh God, or what hour that you will call us, Father. But we want to be prepared and say, Lord, here I am, Father. I am ready. O oh God, we don't want to be found, Father. Not ready, O oh Father, to go with you, Father. Because we know, Lord, if we go the other way, Father, it will be a lake of fire, Father that we will have to face, Lord. Lord, where the worms die not, not, Father, and the fire is not quenched, Lord. Lord, 
We don't want to go that way. We don't want to suffer, Father, but we want to live eternally with you. God in peace. Yeah. Oh, Father. Lord, I pray, Lord, that something would, you know, be said this afternoon, Father, yeah, that will Lord. touch some soul, Lord, that they will give their heart to you, Father. Lord, I commit this service and I commit his loved ones into thy hand, dear Father. And our dear sister Rosemary, may you, O oh God, give her grace and strength, Lord. Yes, Lord, Lord yes, even, Lord. you know, she know where he is at now, Father. But let, Lord, she miss oh. that loved one of oh, hers, Father. Lord, Lord, may you comfort her heart. Oh, yes. Lord, as I commit all things into thy hand, in Jesus Christ's name, amen, amen. and amen. I don't know if you have a little viewing of the body before we leave to go to the Saifu Cemetery that is on going up the point area on Granville Junction there, that cemetery, he will be buried there. So we could, you know, make way as soon as everybody view and we carry on with the balance of the story.
just a diesel and we will close and put our water down anybody she want to yeah she could huh? she My home is in heaven. I I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no food. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also with sleep in Jesus, will God bring with him. For this we say unto you, by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord, shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so 
shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one, and one another with these words. Yes. And our precious brother here, he lived with this hope. And if he died, he will rise again. And this is his promise. And yes. this is what God promised yes. to us. So. And we believe that with all yeah. our heart yeah. and all our heart soul yeah. that yeah. He will rise. Yeah. Yes. So as we come at Him. As the scripture said in Genesis chapter 3, verse 19, In the sweat of thy, thy face shall thou eat bread, till thou return unto the ground. For out of it was thou taken, and from dust thou art, and to dust thou art. Brother, we believe that he will rise again. Amen. Yes. yes. That is what God promised us. Yes. We believe. Oh, right. Yes. yes. This is the Christian book. Yes. So, oh, oh my. This is what we do.
as you bow our heads. Heavenly Father, Lord, we come, Lord, to you, Father. Lord, as we come into God, the body of our precious brother, to the ground, Father. Lord, we come at the soul into thy hand, Father. Lord, and may, O oh God, be ever be with you, Lord. Lord, we thank you, O oh God, for the time, O oh God, that you give to our precious brother here upon the earth, Lord. Lord, it truly was a great brother of us, of ours, Father. Lord, and we truly enjoy, Father, But Lord, we look forward for that day, O oh God when we will meet together on the other side where we will part no more, Father. Lord Jesus, I pray, O oh God, that you will bless each and every one, O oh Father, that attend, O oh God, to this little funeral service today, Father. Lord, and may something, O oh God, touch their heart, Lord, that they may give their lives to you, Father. Lord, that when their number called, Father, they can say like my pressure, brother, all is well with my soul. Oh, yes. Bless, O oh God, each and every one, Father. Lord, as we come at him into thy hand, and we come at his body to the soil, Father, and we come at his soul into thy hand. Oh, yes. This we ask, O oh God, in Jesus Christ's name, with your richest blessing upon all. Amen. Thank <laughs> you.